Hello Tassos, how are you? Hi Peter, how are you? I'm fine. Me too. Um, could you introduce the, your band Wings in Motion to the listeners of Wolfhound Metal Radio? Yes, of course. Uh, Wings in Motion is a modern metal band based in Greece. If you could uh, speak a little bit louder. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, the band is a modern metal uh, band in Greece, uh, formed in September 2008 by me and Pete Ross, the other guitarist. And then we have Constantine as a keyboardist, and then followed Andre, uh, our singer. After some lineup changes, we ended up with George on bass and Scallion on the drums. Now, uh, about our style, we, um, we combine heavy and aggressive riffing with melodic elements. And uh, as far as the melodic elements are concerned, we have to do with either with the orchestration or with clean vocals or guitar melodies and things like that. Uh, now, uh, until now, we have released a, a promo CD uh, that includes uh, four songs. Uh, one of them, Through the Shadows I Ride, we have shooted a video clip uh, recently. And uh, we have already played in uh, one of the biggest uh, music festivals here in Greece, uh, the Schoolway Fest. And we have uh, won the first place on the Battle of the Bands contest that took place uh, here in Athens. And uh, we had to compete with other 35 bands from around Greece. And we took the first place. This is the most important, uh, the most important moment uh, of the band right now. You brought out a promo so far. Will you soon bring something new out, an uh, EP or an album maybe? Well, right now, uh, no. We were just uh, writing material for a new record, for the first record actually. And we're busy uh, with this procedure. We do not plan to have a new release uh, on the next month. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about the lyrics of things uh, in, emo in motion? On the well, the lyrics uh, concern uh, different, um, different aspects of living. You know, it uh, either has to do with uh, emotional states, with uh, inner conflicts, for example, or even, uh, you know, more social context, uh, like things that happen in the world around us. The inspiration comes from different uh, ways. It really it has to do with anything that happens, really anything. I mean, we use different different textures in our lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, you also brought out a video you mentioned a couple of minutes ago. That's what can you... What, for the song, what can you tell me about the video? What was the message for it? Well, uh, this song uh, is uh, Through the Shadows I Rise. It's uh, one of the songs, as I mentioned before, that is included in a promo. And uh, it has to do, you know, with all the obstacles and the difficulties that you have to overcome uh, through your life, you know, the choices you have to make, and no matter how hard it is. And actually, that was uh, the song is about, you know. And I believe that this this song worked this way for the band, you know. It kind of helped us rise through the shadows. Mm. It is a big step. <clears throat> it is a big step for a young band like you to make a video and to finance it from their own sources. That's right. Uh, we we believe in our music, you know. And also we, we signed with the Wild Rose Angel promotions, you know, in order to promote our music and reach a bigger audience. So we, we believe that along with the promo, a video shooting would be, you know, the next step we should take to, to let the world know of us, you know, know of our work. Mm -hmm. um, I read it somewhere that you had some lineup changes during right. your career. And was the, is the current lineup the lineup with which you recorded the promo? That's right. Uh, our current lineup is the lineup we recorded the promo. A I little bit louder, please. Yes, yes. I believe that um, actually the guys are amazing musicians. You know, Constantine is an amazing keyboardist. He, he writes amazing stuff on the keyboard. He is responsible for the orchestration. And also we have George on the bass, an amazing bassist, uh, especially for his age, 
in the Scallion, amazing drummer as well. For uh, Andrea, I believe I need not to say many things about his vocal range. I mean, that is something that you can easily find out by hearing the recordings. And then me and Pete, you know, we are responsible for writing the riffs and the melodies. I believe we really, we work very well, you know. Um, what kind of music influences the music of Inks in Motion? Yes, Peter? Um, what kind of uh, bands or music influences the music of Wings in Motion? Well, uh, actually, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mention. Hello. It has found out itself. I really believe that uh, you know different people will find different influences in our, in our music, and that depends on everyone's. Uh, personal influences. I mean, there are people who believe we are, you know, more into the uh, progressive kind of power metal scene. Uh, other people believe, you know, we're more thrashy or more gothic. I really don't want to to make a clear direction of our music. I believe our music has, you know, this vague thing, and I really want this to keep up. I really want the people to hear to our music what they really want to hear, not what I say to them that is what we play. Okay. Um, Besides uh, Wings in Motion, does some of your band members play in another band or project? Yeah, I'm very infinity and amazing. Uh, Are you there? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear it. That's okay. why I was. Part. Um, yeah, as I said, Yes. Your is going to motion, of course. Ah, okay. Um, your band won in the Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about it? Um, are you satisfied? I mean, there was surely a great competition for it with 35 bands. That's right. I mean, I'm um, very, satisfi very satisfied because the bands were really, you know, they did amazing work and they had some na nice stage appearance and you know the fact that w they were actually that good made this victory for us so special I mean we had to compete with other 35 bands that were really good bands they play well their music but that is what makes this uh, victory so special for us I mean you know the the audience love the way we play the music love the way we we appeared on the stage as a band and that is that's the best thing. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about the competition you are now participating in? Well, it's uh, the Rock the Nation Award. It's actually a competition uh, of a label. You know, many bands from uh, around Europe are participating. We're one of them. And mm -hmm. actually it has to do with, you know, a contract from Noise Art Records. Uh, what you do is uh, you, you get voted by your fans. And mm -hmm. after that, uh, the label will uh, check the first 100 bands and then offer a, a contract proposal to one of them. That's cool. I wish you luck for it. Thanks a lot. Um, Chris is more known for some good black metal bands. And also I heard from a lot of people that you and Chris like power metal much. Um, how do your fellow countrymen look upon your music? Well, I believe, you know, uh, here in Greece, uh, the audience that has already checked us really uh, is into our music, you know, they love our sound, they, it's this thing that we combine the heavy ripping with the melodies, and I believe this is kind of special the way we do it, you know, for here Greece. Uh, as you said, we have uh, some amazing bands right here, black metal bands like Rotten Christ and Septic Flesh. And, you know, uh, I really believe that uh, people here like our music. Uh, I really believe so. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about your local scene? Well, uh, we have some great musicians and some great talents here in Greece. But uh, I believe that uh, what we lack uh, when it comes to actually doing the right choices uh, for our careers is uh, the professionalism. I really believe that we should be more professionals when we have to choose 
the right thing to do and promote our music, promote our job. Uh, I really think that we have to follow the procedure and the steps of the uh, great bands that we admire their work in order to do the things we want to do. Uh, that's the only thing that uh, the Greek bands lack. Uh, after all, we I believe we are a very talented uh, we're very talented people, and I believe we can really play the music we want to play really well. Um, what about concerts? Do you like to play live with your band? Of course, yes. It's a, it's an amazing feeling, you know, when especially when the world is into the music you're playing, and they you know they know the lyrics they're singing. Uh, it's it's an amazing feeling. I, I really I can describe it. Um, will you play sooner? Uh, anywhere live? Uh, well, right now we do not have uh, a live uh, show on our schedule uh, because right now, as I said before, we are actually concentrated on writing new material. So right now, no live shows on the schedule. But this is not something you know that I will uh, will not change. I mean, if uh, a good live show comes up, we'll definitely grab the chance. Mm -hmm. Uh, any last words for the list? Any last words for the listeners of All Found Metal Radio? Well, uh, I'd like to thank uh, guys for your time, and also thank you, Peter Personal, for giving me the opportunity to present my band through your radio. Thank you for giving me the interview. Okay, thanks a lot, Peter. Bye.